Hi guys, welcome back to Blue Mountain Bushcraft and Outdoors. Today, we're gonna take a hike up the side of this mountain. Come along if you like. All right guys, so today instead of bringing along a traditional day pack, I'm sporting something a little different. And I'm embarrassed to say it's something I've not used enough since I've had it. This is Primal Archer Essential Carry System uh, made by Jason Dara. You can find his YouTube channel by searching Primal Archer. But he designed this uh, and makes and sells these and they are a fantastic piece of kit. You've got a whole variety of different size pockets here place for a belt and uh, a nice pack in the back. When we get up to the top here where I'm going to have lunch, I'll break this down a little bit and show it to you. Alright, it's time for the final hike up. This is the steepest stretch there is, and after this, a nice little gentle slope downhill to uh, the spring where I'm going to hang out. Last push, dig deep. Now this is a little disconcerting. Oh, I'm still a little out of breath from climbing. Since I've been up here last, somebody made a road. All right, we're here. I have to come back up another day. Figure out what the heck's going on with this road that's been cut in here. This is one of the many springs that can be found up to this part of the Appalachian Trail. It's a beautiful spot to come camp. There's always water here. It takes a bit of effort to get here, so it's not too uh, not too crowded. All right, let me get settled in. I'll show you this vest, and that's time for lunch. Okay, guys. So, like I said, this is Primal Archer Essential Carry System, designed and produced by Jason Dara. I will. You know what? I'll put a link down below to his overview of this vest. That way you can go see the guy who designs it and makes it explain this thing in a lot better detail than what I'm going to do today. So this is going to be pretty short and sweet. But essentially this is a really lightweight, easy way for you to carry all of your essential tools that you want to carry with you out here you know, hiking around in the woods or the wilderness or whatever. If you're just hiking, if you're camping, if you're hunting, whatever. This thing is super flexible. Um, basically what it is is a vest with the ability to attach a belt and an optional, you probably can't hear me, an optional backpack that Jason also makes. Now this is a first generation model. All right, he's since updated this quite a bit, made a number of pretty nice improvements to it. So I'm hoping at some point I'll get a hold of one of those and actually be able to compare them. But as it is, this thing is pretty nice. A few little things that I'd change about it, but I think, like I said, the new one has addressed those issues. So you've got a roll molly here, and all I have on here today. Since it's still cold out, I don't want to use a water filter which runs the risk of freezing and cracking and rendering it useless. So I have a Steri pen. This uses ultraviolet light to purify your water. Highly effective. Also has a little flashlight built into it. Got one large main pouch here. And today I just have a hidden woodsman signal panel a little sharpening rod and that's it 
the other thing that I've been carrying in here is my cell phone, but I'm using that to record the video. So, over here, I've got two other pockets. I've got my compass and charging cable for my cell phone. And obviously, guys, you can set this up however you see fit. In the top pocket, got my ceramic sharpening stone and just a little Petzl E Light headlamp. So the pack on this is pretty cool. It's designed so that you can partially remove it, swing it around front so that you can access whatever you need to without actually taking the thing completely off. But in order to do that, hit that buckle here, the secondary buckle there. Pack still attached and you can bring this around to the front of your body, open it up and get to your contents. Today, I've got some stew, a small alcohol stove, a few little bits of extra clothing, a first aid kit. I think that's about it. I ain't going overboard today. On the bottom, there are straps that you can put a bedroll onto. Today, all I have on here is a snug pack jungle blanket. Um, like I said, this pops off easily. You move it around, get to it, and when it's time to put it back on, simply swing it back around, reattach it, and you're good to go. Now, this setup does not come with a belt, but it is designed to take a belt. So, all I have on here is the basic heavy duty riggers belt. I have a Schrade SCHF 42 in my um, C2G fab sheath. I've got a Hidden Woodsman canteen pouch here with my canteen, my cup, all that good stuff in here. I've got a Maxpedition Janus with some fire kit in here, and that's all I've got. So it's pretty nice. If you want to use this while you're backpacking with a full backpack on, this pack comes off. So you can take that off, bring it with you, and load it up after you've got your camp set up, or just not use it at all. Um, so it's a pretty cool piece of kit. So I'm going to quit talking. I don't have a whole lot of time today. Let me get my lunch ready, sit down, relax for a few minutes, and go home and spend the rest of the day with the family.
right guys, we're gonna have some Progresso white chicken stew today. Pretty tasty. Just in case you're curious, got my modified Vargo hex stove and a Trangia alcohol burner. And just a heavy cover canteen cup. I think I burnt a bunch of the stew in the bottom of my cup. That ought to be fun to clean out. pretty good. All right, so I told you before I'd show you the Steri pen for those of you that aren't familiar with it. In the winter time, it's cold out. You get your filter wet and it freezes it can cause cracking and pretty much render your filter useless the filter is not going to do what it's designed to do the steri pen does things a little differently this uses a battery powered ultraviolet light to kill off any viruses bacteria whatever that might be in the water. So it's not filtering anything out. It's just essentially sterilizing the, uh, the water. So it's pretty easy to use. Pull the cover off. You'll see here, push once for one liter and twice for a half a liter. And all you need to do is open up your water. This is one liter, so we're gonna push this once. See that green light come on? Light flashing there to let you know everything's working. And it's actually got a sensor. When it hits the water, it knows it's in the water and it's gonna start. I'm not going to be able to show this to you on camera, but if you look down in here, you'll be able to see the light flashing. And when it's done flashing, your water's purified, ready to drink. But I've used this a bunch of times and haven't done anything else with water and never gotten sick. Okay, that's it. It's done. The light stops flashing. Shake that off, put the protective cover back on it, and put it away. The water's safe to drink. Oh, nothing like fresh spring water. Alright guys, thanks for joining me.